Okay, let's see. Today it is October 20th of 2017. This is just a little lead in uh, to a review that I'm that's going to follow for uh, this device, a fluid head that goes on the top of a tripod and you're going to watch the uh, what was recorded the other day the video where I am going to review this and where I'm going to mount it on top of a tripod and you know what I couldn't get it accomplished. I didn't have the right type of tripod with the right type of fitting and I'm unsuccessful. But I did, I think, do a good review of this, the part that goes on the tripod. So just make sure you have the right kind of tripod and you'll need some adapters. In the video I show some adapters. You may need some adapters. Depending on the uh, type of tripod that you have, uh, so that's going to be coming up here in a little bit, but I thought also I'd put a little of my uh, show me blog video uh, in front of this uh, video and uh, update you on what's, what's kind of going on. As you know, I've been talking about uh, a new camera and if you watch my videos I've discussed what I and I, I mentioned I think the G4 and it uses interchangeable lenses and it's a fantastic camera I've watched every review I think just about every review on YouTube about it Panasonic G7 uh, camera and I think now today I'm not going to get that. The idea of the interchangeable lenses are nice, but then I would want interchangeable lenses and they run into money. I, like I said, watched reviews on YouTube and people be talking about that camera or another camera, but you know, even that camera and they'll say, oh, this uh, 14 by 100 or whatever, you know, uh, just a fantastic, fantastic glass. They all call it glass instead of lens. And then I look it up and it'll be, that lens will be like $600 more than the camera, you know. And I just want to put myself in that spot. So I'm not going to go with interchangeable lenses. Uh, that camera also has some really neat functions, uh, things I would never use because I have a FZ200 here and I don't use all the capabilities of it. In fact, I use very few. But what I think I'm going to do is, right now today, it, what I'm thinking about doing is going with uh, the FZ300. So this is the 200 and then the 300 is the next version of this and the 300 is not waterproof but you know it's resistant to water and dust it also does 4k my 200 does not do 4k uh, also it has the 300 does Wi-Fi and I'm really interested in that because then I could use the 300 camera put it on a tripod and with a tablet or my cell phone, I could zoom in, zoom out, and do all types of stuff while I'm, while I'm sitting here. I can't physically move it, you know, if I, well I can if I physically want it, but I mean, but I can zoom, pan, change exposure, do all types of things. And I think that really would be, be something. So right now I'm thinking about the, uh, I don't know why I keep saying Z, this is the United States. FZ300. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, now you notice the 
wall there, it stopped. I'll be doing a review. That's right over, right over here. This is it right here. And I'll be doing a review a bit. Uh, it's plugged into uh, 110 volt right here, but it's sitting the bay. It's actually sitting on a solar cell, so uh, it can be put outside and stuck into you know turned upside down and stuck into the ground. So, so I'll be uh, be doing a review of that. And uh, what else is going on? I think that's probably about it. So a good time to bring this to a conclusion. It, well, except let me say that uh, even though I failed in my attempt to mount this on a tripod, uh, we can learn from our failures, right? And uh, also to let you know what a dumbass I am, right? So, by the way, if you know of a You'll see in the video um, this, and if you know of a inexpensive, I don't want a real inexpensive, but you know, you know, well, want a good. If you know of a good, try have at least four tripods here. A couple of them are desktop, though. But if you know of a <coughs> tripod that I can uh, mount this on because I've got it and I would uh, like to use it. So just leave a comment in the, in the comment section. So uh, thank you very much and stand by for a review. Coming up, don't touch the mouse. Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 18th of 2017. Uh, let me remove this tracking thing around my face. Uh, I have a number of tripods and I've never paid very much for any of them. This might be the most I ever, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, this is a tripod that I got recently and I did a review of it, I think, or at least I talked about, you know, having it. I think I showed it to you. And I mentioned that uh, this was stiff uh, when I got it. I thought it, well, I haven't used it very much, but I thought it would maybe loosen up. Then I also noticed after I did the review that cranking it also. So, um, I think I'm going to go back and change it, the review from five stars to four stars. Also, another thing I've discovered after I did the review, like I have a, at least four or five tripods, none of them very expensive. And this, I have a heck of a time figuring out how to get this thing in there. There's something, I'm sure it's me. There's some trick to it. And you know, you want to be able to get the thing, to get the thing in. Not in yet. Um, <clears throat> so, what I decided to do, as you can see here, this tripod is one of the tripods, see this uh, screw here, that will let you take off the head. And you can put a fluid head on it. Some of them are really expensive, but I just, just received it a few minutes ago. I purchased this and it was, uh, only $22 for it. And also I had to purchase a 
I only needed one, but I had to purchase, they say some five or something, I forget how many here. And it's so you can go from the one size to the next size. And so I'll need one of those. So now here is the, I'll put links to this in case. Now you have to make sure that you're, that you have a tripod uh, that you can change the head on. Uh, the rest of mine I couldn't be, couldn't change the head on them. Um, here this is, and it really feels smooth. And it has a cutout here so you can go over and uh, do that with it so I could have something down on and do, you know. <clears throat> now the two screws here, these two, I guess. A, <laughs> let me do this here. By the way, this, there is a down here, and this allows you to do that. I think it's marked in degree. I don't see it. I guess not. So anyway, this bottom screw controls that. The um, These two screws, it's kind of confusing, but these two... They're identical. They control, if you lock down one, it locks the head. If you lock down the other, it locks the head. Uh, if you want it to be able to, where you can move it around, you have to have both of them unlocked. They're identical. Uh, now the other thing, kind of nice it has that level there. The other thing here is you unscrew this and then you can slide this head right out and you can put it in and then you screw this down and that's it much better than this other because I guess I'm just a dumbass but uh, I thought this had oh I do okay down on this copper or brass or coal or uh, or whatever. There are numbers, but I can't. Okay. There are numbers, but you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know what they could have done, but there are numbers there for, I would guess it's going to what, 360 degrees? Let's see. Well, I can't tell. Oh, it looks good here. <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't look that way to me here. But I am an old man. Hang on here a second. Can't wear my magnifying glasses to take... Well, you know, okay, I can see it better. 80, 60, 30 zero, 30, 80, 90, 120, 150, well that couldn't be 150 because they got another one, no two 150s, there's 180, I don't know, but anyway you can, I can see it with, not as good as that though, but I can see it with magnify, but I, I never put those things on, I have them on the desk almost never use them. Okay, so like I said, unscrew this. This pops right out. Okay, I'm going to Oh, I see there. Little thing. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, find a screwdriver. And I'm going to stop and be right back.
Okay, don't touch the mouse. Well, this is what I have. And it will not work. It just takes like a regular screw. Well, here's what it takes. This is from the, that's just a regular screw. I see no way that this is compatible. I thought for sure that I, uh, that I checked that. No way for that to go on. Uh, let me check, I'm sure, let me check a couple of my other tripods. Uh, well, just wait right here. Don't move. Okay, maybe this one will work. Yes, it, this one will do it work. Okay, I better, let me stop this because look what I have here. See, that's going to work. Let me stop this before I get things mixed up here. Oops. I will be right back. Well, I'm back. This will not fit. Well, it's not the... this is... The tripod that I purchased this for, this will not work with. Well, I should say it the other way around. That tripod is the problem. It doesn't, you know. And my other tripod, uh, that was not not the right size. The thing doesn't come out. Part of the so. Do I buy a tripod that I could change the head on? I think I'll just put this thing away. I can use it for when I get a uh, slider. I think this one here already <laughs> has the... Uh, I get an inexpensive slider eventually. I think this one also has a... Yeah, it does. has a head, right kind of head for it. But some of these sliders that are $29, uh, $39, uh, I could mount this head on it. So, first mistake I've ever made in my life. I just know that this was listed you know they list stuff down here. This was listed here, and next to it was listed. Uh, I think one of these. Maybe I got mixed up on tripods when I looked at more or something. So, so this is not a review. Well, I take it back. This is a review of this. I just couldn't couldn't mount it on, you need to make sure your tripod, where is this thing here, here it is, have to make sure your 
tripod. Fluid rotation tripod ball, let's see. Okay, what you need is a platform with a one quarter inch screw thread and a three eighths inch hole at the bottom. Ideal for outdoor traveling photographers. So I guess right now I got a nice paperweight. Anyway, better bring this to a conclusion for before you really realize how dumb I am. Thank you very much for watching.